Happy holidays. Wow. I can't believe how long it's been since we've chatted. A lot has happened. So, I ended up on Main Street with Chico in my arms. Now, I know you would be super worried, but I can take care of myself. You taught me well. It's okay. Be good. I'm gonna find something. Now don't worry. I found a safe place to sleep for the night. Plus, I had Chico to watch over me. <laughs> Yes, I will be picking up the signage myself as my assistant is handling an issue. Just leave the box with reception with the signage and I will pick it up. Thank you. Happy holidays to you too. Why is it that everyone feels the need to say happy holidays? It's like if you don't say it back, you're a social misfit. So should I put this in a different cup for you then? Be ridiculous. Did you steam it long enough this time, right? Ten seconds. Thank God. It's that in-between froth and no froth that really just drives me nuts. It's like, if you're not going to steam it long enough, don't even bother trying. You really need to get an ordering app, Rick. That's how you compete with Starbucks. Thank you, Chloe. See you tomorrow. Hey, Charlie, I told you that video wasn't supposed to go live until noon. You're going to blow the exclusive. I need you to pull it down. Excuse me, miss. I'm going to need to call you back. Do you think you can give me some water for my dog? Where are your parents? <laughs> no, no. Mamacita, ¿dónde está Santa Claus? ¿Dónde está Santa Claus? And the toy said he will leave. Alejandra, recuerda que tiene que estar bien delgadito. Mira, Alejandra, una mamá nunca deja de enseñar. ¿eh? I love making the dough. It makes me so happy. It's perfect. Oh, I have something for you. My name is Mike Sanchez. I'm a federal officer with ICE. So now I have a warrant for the arrest of Mr. Rodriguez. Alejandra, we have to go. We have to go now. Okay? I have to go back. If you stay here, they're gonna put you in foster care. Do you? I won't be able to find you. We've been through this. You know the way to Harlingen, okay? You know the way. Find Paco Juarez. He's on Old Ranch Road, okay? I quiero tanto mi vida. Estrellita del mar. No!
I'm sorry. I don't have any photo water for you. I didn't have a plan after Paco was a no-show, but I did find a friend who, by the looks of it, needed me too. Well, I guess you can come with me. But when we call Paco, tell me with me, okay? Okay. Good boy. Come on, let's go. I have a friend I think that can help you more. Can I call her? I'm not putting me in detention center. No. I'm from here. I have a passport. I need to find Paco. Nobody is going to put you anywhere right now. Let me just call my friend, okay? <laughs> Sloan, it's Chloe. I have a little girl that I think really needs your help. Can I bring her to you? Uh, so, Alex, I'm Sloan Henley, and I'm with Child and Family Services. And I help children with all sorts of things, but my specialty is to help kids whose families were taken away. Unfortunately, that's been happening a lot more lately. Excuse me, Sloan? Yes. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, of course. It's right, it's right down the hall, to the left. Oh, and one second. Your mother's name is Luisa Ramirez. Do you know her middle name? I think it's Alma. OK. She told me to find Paco Juarez in Old Ranch Road. He's our friend. Uh, yes. Chloe actually called him already and she left a message. You are in really good hands with Sloan, Alexandra. She's gonna help you find your mother, okay? Is it Alex or Alexandra? Alex is good. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you hold him, please? Oh, oh. <clears throat> sure. Thanks. Yes. So after I spoke to you, we actually looked into Paco and we found his neighbor who said that Paco got picked up by ICE two days ago. Oh no. Yeah, nobody's heard from him and I can't find him on the internet, you know, detainee listing. So I, I don't know. Usually in my experience, that means that they've already been deported. The best we can do is try to find her mother, obviously, and what other family members we can. Okay, wow. Well, is there anything else that you need from me? I need to get back to the office. Uh, let me just check. You sign there. Sign there. Nope, you're good to go. Okay. Well, we, you really are a saint, Sloan. Always were. I'm just making up for all that trouble I got into in high school, right? <sighs> well, I miss those days. I'm gonna leave him here. I gotta go. And how do I always get stuck with Christmas duty? Because you never say no? Besides, it's your Christmas spirit, Lopez. I think I threw it out with the year-old birthday cake in the back of my fridge. Oh, that's right. That's this week. Huh? Happy early birthday, dude. <laughs> oh, come. Don't do me like that. I, I promise. All right? I'm going to put it in my phone so I don't forget this year. <laughs> OK, Alan, throw me those lights. There we go. <sighs> Great, like this day couldn't get any worse. You okay? Do I look okay? I just dropped 15 grand worth of hard drives. You better pray that these are still good or I will hold you personally responsible. Well, maybe you should look up from that thing while you're walking. Well, maybe you should learn how to decorate without blocking a pedestrian walkway. What? Well, sorry, this is not my regular job. I'm a construction worker. Grace isn't my favorite. You don't say. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Alan. 
By the way, you untangle Christmas lights by laying them on the ground, not stretching them across an open walkway. Thanks for the tip. You're too nice. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I see you met my wife's childhood friend, Chloe. Intense one. She's cute, though, right? Nah. Well, maybe. Mm -hmm. So what's up? You joining us for Christmas, right? Uh, you know, I'm not a holiday guy. Why are you lying, Carlos? You kill it for Halloween. But seriously, it'd be nice if you weren't always alone. Yeah, no time for ladies. You know, maybe when I get the house redone, or maybe when I have a little warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who else had all the excuses in the world not to get married? Who? Ebenezer Scrooge. But look how that worked out for him. Oh, but he had a huge bin of money to swim in. That's Scrooge McDuck. Hey, 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 and when are you and Sloan having a baby? Whoa, okay. I know when to back off. Uh, I... But I'm just, I just care about you, that's all. I appreciate it. But I'm good. Trust me, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah? Okay. Let's do this. On the floor. Right, as we were told. At first, Chloe may have seemed like a scary and intimidating person, but once I got to know her better, she was actually really nice. Oh, let me help you with that. No need. Just get them back to the post supervisor to lock up. I celebrate everyone and everything. I don't see any pandas. Pandas are represented right here. Meet Perry the Panda. Hello, Chloe. I'm Perry the Panda. Happy holidays. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, humbug. I heard that. It was the panda. <laughs> So, how is that little girl you found? <clears throat> Do you have something in your throat? Or is there something work-related you would like to discuss? Well, actually, so... That gentleman caller from the conference in Florida keeps phoning to ask you out. Make sure that the assets log is current. I hate when I look at it and it's not reflective of what's been updated. Wow. Okay. I'm on it. Thank you, Charlie. Mm-hmm. Sloan brought me to her house for the night. All I could think about was... Would you be able to find me? You'll be safe here until we could find something more long-term for you. But only until my mom comes to get me, right? Yeah. I promise you I'm doing everything I can to find your mom. But until then, I am gonna keep you safe. to the memories of her past like Chico did with the bone. She couldn't let them go. There was a room in her house that no one could enter. It felt like a secret door to a whole nother world. And it was. As that world used to belong to her son, Adam. Look, it's 
Sweetheart, I obviously don't want this poor kid out on the streets, but there has to be some other options. I get it that the group home is understaffed over the holidays, but come on. You would think they can make room for one more. We can't keep her here. Okay, if they take another child in today, they could get closed down. So she has to stay here just for a few days until we can find like a more permanent solution or I can find her family. Sloan? What? They're gonna move her to another county and what if they put the dog into a pound and separated from her and that would kill her? Who knows what could happen? We can't. Why? We also have a cat who hates dogs. Honey, I'd love to. I really would. But you've been warned before not to keep kids at the house after the last few times. Okay. So, what should I do? What am I supposed to do? You have the power to place Alex in a home that you deem safe for a few days before a judge reviews, right? Yeah. Well, then what about Chloe? I mean, she found her. She's been a parent before, and she was a really good one. I think she'd be great. Was a parent, past tense. She has not been the same since she lost to Adam and Marco. Maybe this is a good thing, then. OK, let's think about this for a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's a single woman, a workaholic. There's procedures for this. I mean, people have to be heavily vetted beforehand, and you know she's not going to want to deal with that. You know the rules, Sloan. I do, but I'm... I'm not going to just put her out on the street with her dog. I think this could be a good thing for Chloe. You know, get herself out of her own head for a little while. Because Lord knows she has more walls than China right now. Okay, even if I could convince the judge to let her stay with Chloe without a review, then what? Don't, what? I'm just looking. Get out of there. I'm making sure it's good. <laughs> Come on. So even if the courts agree, mm -hmm. I mean, they're not going to let her stay there for more than a few days. Right. I don't know. You know what I do think? <laughs> what do you think? I think I'm yes. that you can slay any dragon if you put your mind to it. Mm. But just don't slay this finger, OK? OK. Hey, uh, do you have plans tomorrow morning? I have this business proposal that I would love to run by you. Hi! Oh, I haven't seen you for months, and now I get to see you twice in one week. Mm -hmm. I'm honored. So what's this proposal you were so secretive about on the phone? Straight to business, huh? Okay, come in. Come in. That's good, right? Yeah. Homemade waffles. Alexandra helped me make them. So, Alex, how old are you? Eleven. Are you eleven, too? You don't know how old your dog is? He's Paco's dog. Um, may be excused. I think Chico needs to go outside. Of course. Mm, no, Alex, let me get the door for you. I'm so glad that digital marketing is going so well for you. Why am I here, Sloan? Alexandra's a great kid. And, and she's had a hard time. I can sympathize. I know you can. That's why I invited you over. I, I was hoping that maybe what? you What? No. 
Absolutely and, not. Okay, look, no. it's it's been a while since you, you know, and I just maybe the time is right. You know, they, they would want you to be happy. If they wanted me to be happy, they wouldn't have left me alone in this world to suffer without them. This conversation is over. Okay, look, I just there's no other choice. With the holidays right now, this is our best option. She doesn't have a relative or friends to stay with. There's no one in 11 years she yeah, can crash on their couch. We still need time to find them, okay? And then once we do find them, who knows what their living situation is like? And then what, what if what if they don't want her? What if we ask them and they say no? What then? I mean, what is worse? No. I, I can't be doing pick up and drop offs at school. Or, okay, I could pick her up. I could pick her up and it's only for a week, right? And then it's Christmas holiday. And then what? I'm gonna take her to work with me? I can't be following after a kid 24 seven. She's 11 years old, oh. okay? She told me that she stayed at home while her mom worked. I don't do dogs. I will get you a crate that you could put the dog in at night and you don't have to worry about the dog. Adam's room hasn't been touched since. Look, I, I know this is hard. I get it. But y you gotta think, like, what would Adam want? right now. Goodbye, Sloan. Okay. I get it. It's fine. Okay. I'll... I'll do it. Really? But this is temporary. Right. And you will find her someone else by Christmas? Yep. Okay, somebody else. Deal. This could be okay, Mom. Actually, I'm feeling pretty grateful about it. Welcome to my home. Whoa. She had an amazing house. I'm going to get you some sheets and show you to your room. He's not going to pee everywhere, is he? Um, Chico, you need to sit. Sit down. Good boy. <laughs> you wait here. I will be right back. Make yourself at home. Um, <clears throat> towels are in the bathroom, along with toiletries. If you uh, need anything, just holler. My bedroom is down the hall to the left. So, um, good night. But it's only 8 p.m. Oh, I get up very early. I get up at 5.30 so that I can do my workout and go to the coffee shop before work. But that's where we met. So, okay then. Good night. gonna be okay. Just don't get me in any trouble, all right? Paco's gone, so I'm all you got. You're up early. I couldn't sleep. Tough sleeping in a new place. The bed's too hard. It's like sleeping on wood. So let's start our day. We have a lot to do. I have some errands. We can get you clothes, some groceries. Let's get to it. Why are we here again? I have an order to pick up. Christmas gift for a client. Hi, Ariel. I have a pickup for Chloe Wilson. Hi. Yeah, sure. Let me go grab it. I love that one. No, we're not getting a parrot. It doesn't match anything in my house. Why does that matter? Nothing in my house matches. Oh, I forgot to get the milk from the store. I already have milk. Real milk. Not that nutty stuff. I think she go like it better than what you have anyways. Wait, what do you mean better than what I have? Oh. Oh. Thank you. 
I don't think his tummy liked it. <laughs> oh god. Oh. school today. Did Chloe get you there on time? Let me find out when my mom's coming home. Oh, soon, sweetie. I'm still trying to find her, and then once we find her, we don't know if she's going to be deported. She's still trying to figure it out. If they're going to deport her, can I go with her? Oh, you know what? I, I don't know, because you're a U.S. citizen, so we're going to have to figure that out, too. Okay? Doing the best I can, I promise. Your mom said my dad tried to apply several times to get their papers fixed, but the lawyer just took all her money. Citizen Group Home is a clean, safe home. Runs a tight ship. Your Honor, they take these kids for a check. It's a business, and that is not a loving or nurturing environment for a child. Which, by the way, if you actually are taking a child away from their parents, that's called abduction, okay? This little girl is an American, okay? It's a crime, so the least you can do is hear Save me out. Save your sermon, Miss Henley. This is not immigration court. I grant you that there are cases like this that are increasing every day, but that is not my concern. My concern is placement of Alexandra Ramirez. Okay, well, this home does not have a bed. And if we send her to another county, she will be further traumatized. And it's the holidays. I don't see another alternative. So what I'm asking is that you please let her stay with Mrs. Wilson until Christmas, and then I will find a more suitable place for her. Now, in that package, you'll see that we've already done her fingerprints. She was approved. Home study? Yes, it's done, and it was fine. But again, this is just temporary until we figure out where her mom is. And there is no other option. I mean, I don't want to send her away to a huge facility if her mom's just going to be back here in a few days. That doesn't make any sense. Given it's the holidays, I'll allow it. But you are sticking your neck out, Miss Henley. And if anything goes wrong with Chloe Wilson? Yep, yep, yep. OK, thank you. And you have two weeks to come up with another option. I will, I promise. Hi. So the judge said that you can stay with Chloe. So you'll have a good home to stay in while we look for your mom, okay? Okay. Thank you. Come on. So, what do you want for dinner? Canitas? Sorry, I don't have that. Can we make them? I don't cook. How about pasta? Okay. I can make that. And you should cook the pasta before the sauce. It will splatter. You should put a cover over it too. It's fine. You can't overcook sauce. You can. My mom taught me. I'd help her out in the food truck and she showed me how the sauce could get burnt and black if you're not careful. Mm-hmm.
Sloan was held up at work, so I'm here to pick you up. You're gonna crash. No, I'm not. I just need to text Sloan to let her know that I picked you up. Look out! <gasps> he almost hit him! How do you know that squirrel was a him? I just know things. Is your phone to see if Sloan found my mom yet? Hey. How about this? You said that you want to make carnitas and tortillas, right? So why don't we go home? You make tortillas, and I'll go to the store and get you your own phone. How's that sound? I think the squirrel's fine. Most likely a heart attack. Marco bought one of these years ago, but he never used it. It should still work. Okay, Miss Chef, let's see how you do. I'll be right back. Just flour. Both of us could have handled that a lot better. And yeah, dog on the counter. Probably not the best idea. Get that dog off of my counter. Come on, 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 come on. I did not sign up for this. You've reached Sloan Henley with Child and Family uh. Services. I'm unable to take your call right now. Please leave a message. We need to talk. Just a second. What's going on? Everything okay? Alex, I have a few things that I need to discuss with Sloane. Can you go into your room for a moment, please? Can I at least bring my sandwich? Sure. Thanks, Chloe. Hey, Alex. Sorry I couldn't pick you up at school today. Court went over. I, I'm sorry about that. I don't think I can do this anymore, Sloane. Okay, it's just one more week and then school's out, so... And this is probably not the best time to tell you, but I, you're gonna have to pick her up for the next couple of days. I have to leave town. Wait, I'm sorry, it's an emergency. I, I couldn't get out of it. I tried. What did I do, Sloan? Well, I mean, you did the right thing. It's just taking some time to adjust. And that's fine. I am tired. I am frustrated. I do not know how to handle her. When I try to treat her like an adult and let her make carnitas and tortillas, she blows up my kitchen. When I try to treat her like Adam, she, she's exhausted by me. Okay, take, take a deep breath. Deep breath, good. And exhale, very good, okay. I'm sorry, but you, you have to remember that she was just ripped away from her mother. You know, this is a very, a hard time for her. This is a tough time for me too, Sloan. I know, I know it is. You were a really good mom, Chloe. You were. You want me to find someone else? No. I can do this. Two more weeks.
There was a cliff bar and lunch money inside. But lunch at school is free. Oh. Well, you left this plugged in. You need to keep it with you always. I will take you to school today, and I will pick you up. Why can't Sloane? She can't. Right in front of me. I barely had time to stop. You're, you're right. Si, you're right. Si, lo siento. No, 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 no. Está bien, tranquila. I thought I could make it. It happens. It's okay. Relax. What? Huh? Tranquila. Relax. Cuéntame. ¿Eres mexicana? No. Americano. Mi mamá es mexicana. Wow. Oh. ¿Y usted? Americano también. She was supposed to get me, but I guess she forgot. Your mom? No, Chloe. Oh. I tried to call her, but she didn't pick up. Can you call her? Yeah, 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 sure. Give me her number. Give me her number. Yeah? Hi, this is Chloe Wilson with Renegade Media. Leave me a message and I'll return your call. Thanks, bye. Hi, my name is Carlos Lopez. I'm here with uh, Alexandra. W with Alexandra, she ran in front of my truck, but she's okay. She's okay. Just uh, I was thinking to g give her a ride to the address on her phone, uh, just so you know, everything is okay. Uh, my number is nine two seven one nine one six. Bye. I live close by. I can give you a ride. Is that okay? Por favor. <laughs> what? My buddy Alan wishing me happy birthday. <laughs> I know Alan. That's Sloan's husband. And Felice Complainants. Oh, gracias. See? We are all friends. Though you should tell me, how do you know Sloan and Alan? Oh. Can we turn on the radio? Yeah. You tell me what station. That's this one. Okay. Mamacita. ¿Dónde está Santa Claus? ¿Dónde está Santa Claus? And the toys that he will leave. Me encanta cantar, ¿y a ti? Mi mamá y yo cantamos mucho. Wow, your mom sounds awesome. That's when I knew Carlos was cool. Hey. Uh, crap. Ah. Did I catch you at a bad time? You. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, come bearing gifts. Hi. Alex, where were you? I came to the school and you were not there. I called you three times. I'm sorry. I guess the music in Carlos's car was too loud. I didn't hear it. How am I supposed to know where you were? Obviously, she doesn't check her phone messages. <laughs> what? Messages? Oh, I saw that. I don't answer phone numbers that I don't recognize. Oh, wow, you didn't have to answer it. Just check your messages. Okay, I lied. He was awesome. <sighs> She darted in front of my truck and what? I almost ran Alex, home. What? Alex, are you, are you okay? Yeah, you were late and I didn't know if you were coming. I... We will discuss this inside. She was all shook up, so the least I could do was give her a ride home. Thank you for bringing her back. You're welcome. I was kind of surprised she wasn't immediately happy to see me as I saved her the trouble of picking me up. You do not ride in a car with a complete stranger. Are you crazy? Didn't your mother ever My teach you not taught to me do... a stranger is a friend you haven't met yet. Your mommy must have not taught you that. Besides, 
He knows Sloane and Alan too. So he's not a stranger. through a tough time. My mommy. You miss her, huh? Can you tell me something about your mom? What kinds of things did you like to do together? We would go to church on Sunday. I skate. Swim in a big pool. My mom's a really good swimmer. And are you? Yeah. She calls me Estrella de Mar. Her starfish. <laughs> She says they're also very resilient. They can regenerate arms and sit with their feet. Well, that's very cool. Do you like the ocean? Never been. But we found an old dresser in a barn and painted it like the sea. It had seashells, starfish, and even a seahorse. I wish it was here. You'd like it. I'm sure I would. Today's Sunday. Why don't we go to church? Would that make you feel better? Okay. Let's do it. Church and Sundays were always spent with her family. Now, I was reading online that there is a Sunday school class upstairs, if you'd like to go to that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> and going with me was a painful reminder of what she lost. Don't be rude. You're rude. Just knock it off. All right, kids. Let's get started. Okay. All right, then. Okay, so today, we are going to be studying the seven sacraments. Does anyone know what they are? For our new guest, Alexandra Ramirez, why don't we give her a chance to go first? Can you tell us what they are, Alexandra? Uh... Yes, Sammy. I know. The seven sacraments are dopey, sneezy, bashful, grumpy, happy, sleepy... Sammy and... Franklin, <laughs> this is not a joke. <laughs> I got you. All right, Sammy. So seven sacraments. Alex. Page four. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, Careful. You're gonna fall down a manhole one of these days if you keep looking at that thing. We have to stop meeting like this. Sermon that boring? No, no, I don't really do church. I'm here for Alex. She used to come to church with her mom. Huh. I don't really do Christmas. Me neither. Not anymore. Then what are you doing here? Oh, it's... It's a job. 
Uh, I'm a workaholic, so if it keeps me busy, I'll do it. Well, I don't know anything about that. Nothing at all. Oh, so she has a sense of humor. <laughs> Was I really that bad? Yes. <laughs> you were a little unappreciative. I'm sorry. I, I got tied up at work and I was embarrassed and I'm just trying to do everything perfect. Why don't you like Christmas? <sighs> I guess it's a side effect of bouncing in the foster system. I lived in, in a lot of places until I became a citizen. So, you're not into Christmas. Alexandra is. Do you have a tree, at least? No. I threw out the fake one, and the real ones are big, and I, it's just me. I can help you get one if you want. I have the truck and everything. Maybe. You wouldn't mind? No. I've been in her shoes. You should take advantage of it. It doesn't happen very often. Hi. Hey. How was Sunday school? I liked it. Sammy made a funny joke. Oh, Sammy's my new friend. He lives at the group home. Where? They're a foster home down the street with maybe a million kids. I skip out whenever I can. This is Chloe. Hey, Chloe. And that is Carlos. Hey, kiddo. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna go sit outside with Sammy and wait till Lydia picks him up. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. So, you're not into Christmas, but you do it for the kid. That's admirable. Kind. Unexpected. So, I can say from experience what you're doing with Alexandra. It's very good. You are changing her life. Chloe seems nice. You think she's sad. Well, maybe you can cheer her up. Not sure. But my mom being home will make me happy. That just reminded you of your mom? Yeah. I hope she finds me soon. Hey! <laughs> someone ordered a chauffeur? Yeah! <laughs> What do you say if we give Chloe a little festive surprise and we decorate her house? I figure we could stop by the store. But I saw a couple boxes marked Xmas in the garage. Maybe she already has some. Well, let's check them out. Let's go. Did you put the Christmas apron in the kitchen? Yeah, Chloe splatter, so if she makes pasta again, she's all set. Great. <laughs> Come here, let's try this side. There we go. And... Yeah! She's here! Surprise! Surprise! How dare you! How dare you? How dare you put those up? I don't understand. You don't know. You have no idea what you... Take them down. Take them down I'm immediately! Sorry. I said take them down! <laughs> the last pair of hands on those blue lights were Chloe's son before he died. She kept them hidden for a reason, to bury her pain. So, without knowing it, I had opened a Pandora's box.
You okay? No. No. But if Chloe doesn't let me stay here anymore. Don't worry. It's not your fault. It was my stupid idea. It was not a stupid idea. I'm so sorry. That was rude of me. And neither one of you deserved that. I'm sorry, too. I like the blue lights because they remind me of icicles. And the white ones that look like snow. We always liked the combination. I wish there was real snow so I can make a real snowman. But yeah, for that, you would have to move to the North Pole, not Southern <laughs> Texas. I really do appreciate it. I just miss them. You want to try the lights again? Can we? <laughs> would you do the honors? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah? I present to you the Christmas lights of Casa Chloe! Yeah. <laughs> hey. Beautiful. Whoa. It's late. Uh, I should go. You're not going to stay for dinner? I. Uh, you're up to? Yes, I. Just need to get everything out of the car. We should stay for breakfast, too. Chloe said she's making pancakes. Pancakes? Yeah, blue starfish pancakes. Whoa, that sounds awesome. But, uh, you know, I'll take a rain check on the starfish <laughs> pancakes. But uh, dinner sounds great. So this uh, starting over? Yes, if you want to. I do. Okay. How did I do? And? Needs more oregano. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Everything is better when you make it from scratch, Pardon? but it's pretty cool. Well, I'll take it. Pretty close is good. Pretty close is good. Can I say grace? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Dear God, thank you for Chloe and Carlos and all the wonderful food we are about to eat. And please, please bring my mommy home. I really miss her. God bless Chico, too. <laughs> and God bless, God Chico, bless Chico, too. too. Okay. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let's eat. This is it. This was where she lived. Yeah, Sloan said there are several families living here, but this is what is important. Well, so let's take this precious cargo in the truck. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. I owe you. <laughs> Was that okay? Yeah. See you then.
Ooh. Why don't you start your homework in your room? Okay. Oh, not that one. This is her most difficult gift. You can stay in here. Adam's room. Since the other bed wasn't comfortable. The room with the secret locked door. How did you do this? Someone from Sloan's office was able to get access to your house, and Carlos helped. You said you wished it was here, so. Oh. Thank you. Then, I saw your dress. The one that you said Dad gave you in Mexico. <laughs> Will she be okay? Will she be able to find me? Of course she will. Sloan is doing everything in her power to reconnect you. Did he die? The boy who was written this is? Yes, he did. And his dad did too. It was a car accident. Nobody could help them. And that was very hard for me to accept. It's harder when you can't see him never again. It is. You become cold, broken, dark. My mommy always says you can always see the light at the end of the tunnel. I truly believe it's there. Yeah, maybe I've been in a tunnel. But if there's a way into the tunnel, maybe there's a way out, right? Yeah, I think so. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> I think you mean white elephant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if what we've got in here. Is that Adam? And my husband, Marco. You shouldn't hide it. When we bury things, we miss them more. That's why I always had my dad's picture right where I can see it. What happened to your dad? He passed away from a heart attack when I was a baby. I'm sorry to hear that. I think you're right. Okay, now, do you want red or green? Red. Oh, there's a big one. <laughs> Great. I'm glad that the budget is approved. We will have two cameras and one sound guy. Yeah, just copy my assistant and we'll get the ball rolling. Hey, um, your 2.30's still waiting for you outside? Why didn't you tell me sooner that he was still here? Uh, I, I, I'm, uh, sorry, um, poor guy. Tell him that I will be out in a minute. Thank you, Charlie. Are you? Feeling okay? Thank you, Charlie. Okay.
Hello. Carlos, it's Chloe. Hey. Hey. I was, um, what you said, what I said last night, um, did you mean it? About the blue starfish pancakes? Yeah, we definitely have to do that one day. <laughs> right. Uh, no, um, I mean about the starting over part. Of course. I'm here for you. That reminds me, do you need me to pick up Alex today? If you wouldn't mind, that actually would be really helpful as we have several clients coming in later. Sure, I can do that. But about... Thank you. I owe you. Um... See ya. Mama's going to love this. She always wanted a... Oh, no, she's home. We have to put it away. We have to put relax, it away. She relax, keeps relax. Mess. Let me do the talking. It's okay. I'm gonna talk to her. It's okay. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Chloe. Please don't get upset. She wanted to do a, a project, and I offered to help, but, but we're gonna put this right away in her room. It's so. okay. No rush. Okay. Then, uh... I'm gonna go, and I'll see you Saturday, young lady. Bye, Carlos. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you for everything you've done for Alex. Well, you know, I've been there. You, um, um, Where? Where? glitter. Oh, glitter. <laughs> Just here. Well, it's kind of everywhere. Really? Well, it does compliment your eyes, so. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, just imagine I'm a big disco ball. <laughs> you wanna dance? Uh, uh, no, no, no. The oh, other way. Okay. There. There. <laughs> no, <dip. laughs> I guess I should wear glitter more often. Very go. Hmm? <laughs> it's like a million Christmas trees. In honor of Carlos helping us pick one out, can I give him some? Sure. Speaking of which, he's going to be here soon to take you skating. You should get ready. Oh, I forgot to watch Chico. Oh, I can walk him. Really? Sure, why not? Okay, I'm sure Chico would love that. She learned a valuable lesson that day. No phones allowed on dog walks. Ever. Oh. No, 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 Chico! I know. Why don't we have your friends over for a Christmas party? Maybe with all the commotion, Chico will come back. for everyone, so come on in. You guys can make an ornament, get something to drink. Hi. Hi. Wow. <laughs> Great. 
Buenas noches. I like your... Carlos! Hey! How are you? Come on in. Hey, hey, hey. Thought you might want something a tin stronger than hot cocoa. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you are Charlie, right? How'd you know? You follow me on social media? Chloe told me you, you have a thing for pandas. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's, uh, that's me. Wow. She, like, talks about me? So cool. Um, hey, uh, what's happening with Alexandra? Like, do you know where she's gonna live after this? I mean, she plays a mean game of freeze tag. <sighs> Just really gonna miss her. What do you mean? She's gonna stay here. Chloe said it's just a temporary situation until Christmas. Temporary? Oh, you didn't know? Hey, there's one more gift left. Oh, that one's for my mom when she comes back. Thank you. If you ever need me, you know where to find me. And I mean it, okay? Bye, Carlos. Carlos. Carlos, wait! Wait for what? Huh? For the moment that you break that little girl's heart? What? What are you talking about? I know it's temporary. Charlie told me. And I thought that... That's a matter. I, I know that I said that at first, but I was just about to... to change your mind again? I know people like you. Bait and switch. When, when life gets too tough or you, or you feel like putting up those walls again, you put work first. But she's not one of your hard drives, no. She, she's a human being. And she has feelings. Her mom is coming back. Oh, really? You know nothing about deportation. It could take years. What if she doesn't come back at all, huh? Her mom was taken away for no other reason than not having the right paperwork to be on the wrong side of an imaginary line. And what are you doing? You're gonna send Alex on her own. Yeah, nice. Chloe, I have news. Uh, Alex's mom. She was so desperate to get... to get back to her. She tried to... cross the, the river from... that that side to, to, the, to us, and uh, she, the undercurrent pulled her. Her and she... she didn't make it. No. Mommy's the best river. She'd make it. <laughs> no, she'd made it before. I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she'd make it. You're lying. So Don't touch me. Get away from me. You never wanted me anyway. I want to go back with Sloan and Alan. They care about me. No. And just like that, Mom, you were gone. This is the part where it's over. Sending my heart down the river. Knew from the start I delivered. Or so I'm told. Now it's forgive and forgotten Riding the tide back to your arms Try to decide where I went wrong This 
getting old Suffocated and isolated I've an easy fix You're looking to be emancipated Baby, this is it And I'm not going to stop you If you really want to I'm getting sick and tired of this Your bane and switch Hey man Not doing too well but I'll be there at the job Carlos, Carlos, I need to talk to you. I'm busy. Carlos, please. Uh, you know, Carlos, I'm gonna go grab some coffee. You want some? No, no, I'm fine. Thank you. I have nothing to say to you. Alex lost her mother last night. Luisa, she died trying to get back. She hates me. Carlos. I know. Alan told me. I see you do, too. You don't get to choose who cares about you. You think I don't care no, I about I didn't her? say... She deserves better than me. You both do. You can keep pretending that she doesn't need you, that she'd be better off, that you'd be better off being a... And we'd light a candle together and laugh. Is there any chance they were wrong? No. No. They made me look at a picture. I never knew my dad. I just had my mom. Now I guess they're together again without me. Can I light a candle for your mom, too? Yeah. P4 ran away to Sloan's. I threw away all these pictures I made for Chloe. I found out later that Chloe rescued them from the trash and put them in frames because she loved them. She told me, you never throw away something you love. Tortilla. Let's get a tortilla. Hey. Chico! Chico! <laughs> You're back. I knew you'd be back. I thought that would make you happy. Thank you. Where did you find him? He came home. Sammy, why don't you bring Chico over here? Yeah. Sure. 
I made tortillas from scratch. You were right, it is a lot of work. <laughs> and you really do kind of have to make a mess in order to get it right and roll them properly. I'm sorry that you thought that I didn't want you. That's not the case. I heard what Carla said. I know. And that might have been the truth at first, but I didn't know you. I didn't know what you would bring to my life, and now I... What am I supposed to do? Because I can't imagine not having you in it. Okay. Don't cry. Alex, can I ask you something? <laughs> Will you be my family? You have taught me so much. You have brought me back to life. I, <laughs> I love you. I will be your family, Chloe. Uh, I love you too, Alexandra. The judge will see you now. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I am Chloe Wilson, and I am applying for permanent guardianship of Alexandra Rosa Ramirez. This child has brought me back to life. When I felt that my heart was hardened and stone and cold, she proved that I was wrong. I promise that I will do everything in my power to care for her, to honor her and her mother, and to treat her as if she were my own. I beg you to consider. Um, uh, may I approach the bench? So my emergency petition to have the home licensed actually went through very quickly, and I'm really hoping to get Alex permanency before Christmas. Okay. Day before Christmas, I'm missing my eggnog. Well, it appears that Ms. Henley's unorthodox methods have resulted in a good outcome for this child. I am inclined to approve this petition. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, can, can we approach? Can we, can we have a picture, thing? please? A picture? If we approach. Oh, we're just going to approach anyway, can you sir. Take a picture of us. So, Thank you. Thank you. Get in. Okay. Get in the middle. Okay. Okay. Which one should I open first? Whichever one you want. Hmm. Mm. Sounds like dog bones. <laughs> I think this one's for Chico. Uh, you're right. I forgot to put a label on it. Why don't you try this one? Oh. Someone's at the door. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Carlos. Who's Carlos? Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas. Mm. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas, Santa. Hello, young lady. <laughs> and for you, Ooh. look what I have here. Is it okay if I open Carlos's gift first? I don't know. You're the boss. Not today. Yes, whatever you want, little lady. Thank you for being here. I would always be here if you let me. Would you let me? Chloe, look! <laughs> oh, cool gift, art supplies. Well, after I saw that dresser, I realized what an artist you are. You know, maybe I was thinking that you can paint me a starfish. Who's starfish? 
Like my pancakes. Yeah, that would be perfect. Maybe I'll paint a picture of Chico. Oh, you go boy. Hmm. Oh, Chloe? This one's for you. Alex, you, you don't have no. to. Please. She'd want you to have it. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I have one more present for you. I can't believe she gave this to me. Well, she loves you. You are a wonderful person. Chloe? Mm hmm? Mm hmm. I made this for you. You made this too? <laughs> <laughs> My mom loved the ocean, and when she died, I wasn't going to finish it. But I hope you like it. <laughs> I love it. Your office is boring and needs color. Hey. <laughs> oh, and there's three starfishes. Me, you, and Carlos. Whoa, I made it. You made it. <laughs> Will you hold it? I have a special gift for you, too. It was Adam's favorite. I think he would want you to have it. Should you put it on the tree? Yes. <laughs> Your mother will always be with you. And Adam will always be with you, too. Back, it was a tough year, mommy. <laughs> but I feel like I found a family in Carlos and Chloe. <laughs> I've missed you every day. You're always in my heart. So is Poppy and your love for each other. I will never forget my family, like Chloe will never forget hers. She was so desperate to get to get back to her. She tried to across the, the river from that that side to to the to us and uh, she, the undercurrent pulled her, her and she she didn't make it no no my mommy's the best river she'd make it <laughs> no she made it before I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like that, Mom? You were gone. This is the part where it's over Sending my heart down the river
to talk to you. I'm busy. Carlos, please. Uh, you know, Carlos, I'm gonna go grab some coffee. You want some? No, no, I'm fine. Thank you. I have nothing to say to you. Alex lost her mother last night. Luisa, she died trying to get back. She hates me. Carlos. I know. Alan told me. I see you do too. You don't get to choose who cares about you. You think I don't care no, I about I didn't her? say she deserves better than me. You both do. You can keep pretending that she doesn't need you. That she'd be better off. That you'd be better off being alive. And we'd light a candle together and laugh. Is there any chance they were wrong? No. No. They made me look at a picture. I never knew my dad. I just had my mom. Now I guess they're together again. Without me. Can I light a candle for your mom too? Before I ran away to Sloan's, I threw away all these pictures I made for Chloe. I found out later that Chloe rescued them from the trash and put them in frames because she loved them. She told me, you never throw away something you love. Tortilla. Let's get a tortilla. Hey. Chico! Chico! <laughs> You're back. I knew you'd be back. I thought that would make you happy. Thank you. Where did you find him? He came home. Sammy, why don't you bring Chico over here? Yeah. I made tortillas from scratch. You were right, it is a lot of work. <laughs> and you really do kind of have to make a mess in order to get it right and roll them properly. I'm sorry that you thought that I didn't want you. That's not the case. I heard what Carlos said. I know. And that might have been the truth at first, but I didn't know you. I didn't know what you would bring to my life, and now I, what am I supposed to do? Because I can't imagine not having you in it. Okay. Don't cry. Alex, can I ask you something? <laughs> Will you be my family? You have taught me so much. You have brought me back to life. I, <laughs> I love you. I will be your family, Chloe. Uh, I love you too, Alexandra.
The judge will see you now. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I am Chloe Wilson, and I am applying for permanent guardianship of Alexandra Rosa Ramirez. This child has brought me back to life. When I felt that my heart was hardened and stone and cold, she proved that I was wrong. I promise that I will do everything in my power to care for her, to honor her and her mother, and to treat her as if she were my own. I beg you to consider. Um, uh, may I approach the bench? So my emergency petition to have the home licensed actually went through very quickly, and I'm really hoping to get Alex permanency before Christmas. Okay. Day before Christmas, I'm missing my eggnog. Well, it appears that Ms. Henley's unorthodox methods have resulted in a good outcome for this child. I am inclined to approve this petition. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Thank you. Can we approach? Can we have, maybe can we have a picture, can, please? A picture? If we approach, oh we're just going to approach anyway, sir. Can you take a picture of us? So, Thank you. Thank you. Get in. Okay. Get in the middle. Okay. Okay. Which one should I open first? Whichever one you want. Hmm. Oh. Sounds like dog bones. <laughs> I think this one's for Chico. Uh, you're right. I forgot to put a label on it. Why don't you try this one? Oh, someone's at the door. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Carlos. Who's Carlos? Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas. Mm. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas, Santa. Hello, young lady. <laughs> and for you, Ooh. look what I have here. Is it okay if I open Carlos's gift first? I don't know. You're the boss. Not today. Yes, whatever you want, little lady. Thank you for being here. I would always be here if you let me. Would you let me? Chloe, look! <laughs> oh, cool gift, art supplies. Well, after I saw that dresser, I realized what an artist you are. You know, maybe I was thinking that you can paint me a starfish. Who's oh, starfish? Like my pancakes. Yeah, that would be perfect. Maybe I'll paint a picture of Chico. Oh, you go boy. Hmm. Oh, Chloe? This one's for you. Alex, you, you don't have no. to. Please. She'd want you to have it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I have one more present for you. I can't believe she gave this to me. Well, she loves you. You are a wonderful person. Chloe? Mm hmm? Mm hmm. I made this for you. You made this too? <laughs> <laughs> My mom loved the ocean, and when she died, I wasn't going to finish it. But I hope you like it. <laughs> I love it. Your office is boring and needs color. Hey. <laughs> oh, and there's three starfishes. Me, 
you. And Carlos. Whoa, I made it. You made it. <laughs> Will you hold it? I have a special gift for you, too. It was Adam's favorite. I think he would want you to have it. Should we put it on the tree? Yes. <laughs> Your mother will always be with you. And Adam will always be with you, too. <laughs> Carlos, can you help me? Sure. Okay, let's go. Looking back, it was a tough year, Mommy. But I feel like I found a family in Carlos and Chloe. I've missed you every day. You're always in my heart. So is Poppy and your love for each other. I will never forget my family, like Chloe will never forget hers. <laughs>